Haley Taylor Schlitz. So now Haley, we've got you registered for HB 567 and you're representing yourself. Is that correct? You got it. Go right ahead. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Now I had to go back into my speech and change that because uh, it has been a very long day for you guys, but I'm very happy that we have this opportunity, uh, chairman and members of the House State Affairs Committee. I am Haley Taylor Schlitz. I am from Keller, Texas, and I'm part of the Texas Crown Act Coalition. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity today to speak in support of House Bill 567, the Texas Crown Act by State Representative Bowers. As you have heard from the author, Representative Bowers, and others that have testified today, House Bill 567 is important legislation that will protect the fundamental rights of all Texans by ending practices of race-based hair discrimination in our schools, universities, workplaces, and housing. As a member of Generation Z, I would like to take my time today to focus on why House Bill 567 is crucial for young Texans and our future. I am sure that many of you have seen news stories across Texas where students have faced disciplinary action in our schools due to wearing their hair in natural and protective hairstyles. Students such as DeAndre Arnold, who was suspended from school by the Barbers Hill Independent School District for having locks, or Travion Gray, who faced similar suspension by Needville Independent School District for having locks. What Gen Z Texans see is that these continued practices of policies and procedures that attempt to deny our natural hair harm our ability to successfully navigate our own education journey. There's, a national, there's national data from the 2021 Crown Research Study for Girls that shows that 53% of black mothers say that their daughters have experienced racial discrimination based on hairstyles as early as five years old. 66% of black children in majority white schools have faced race-based hair discrimination, and 86% of those children have experienced it by the age of 12. In my own education journey, along with my siblings, other family members, and friends, we all have stories where our own hair texture has been challenged. A large majority of us have been asked at one time or another if we could tame our hair or do something different with it. I share these facts and experiences with you because I want to ask that we consider how existing policies that attack students' natural hair, their very DNA, can make it hard to create learning environments that are supportive and conducive to learning. As an educator, I can share at first hand, and numerous studies show, that these outdated policies that restrict natural and protective hairstyles make students feel unwelcome and harm their ability to focus on their education. I think we would all agree that an environment where your very DNA is not seen as legal or compliant with policy is not an environment conducive for learning. As a law school graduate, I understand that race-based hair discrimination is a violation of our fundamental rights. And as a black woman and member of Gen Z, I understand just how impactful the Crown Act is and will be once it's passed. I believe that the state of Texas should follow the lead of our military and the many other states that have passed the Crown Act into law and put an end to these policies that hurt our students in their education. Thank you. Haley, thank you very much. Any questions, members? Thank you so much.